Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be learning how the BMW i8 pace car of Formula E is wirelessly charged before heading out on the track. In order to understand wireless charging, we need to understand electromagnets, which I have an additional video explaining in detail how they work. The idea is that if you apply a current through a wire coil, this current will induce a magnetic field surrounding the coil. The opposite is true as well. If you pass a magnet through a wire coil, this will induce a current within the wires. Wireless charging works by taking advantage of these two facts. If you put a current through a wire coil, then that coil will create a magnetic field. If you then place another coil set directly over that coil, the magnetic field created by the first coil will induce a current in the second coil. Typically this will be done with an alternating current, so the magnetic field of the first coil will switch back and forth, inducing an alternating current into the second coil. With no physical connection, you're able to supply a current to charge a device. This is how electric toothbrushes charge, and it's also how this BMW i8 charges, just with significantly more power and a more complicated design. In this case, the technology used is the Qualcomm Halo. The Halo charging system, using a frequency of 85 kilohertz, can charge the i8 at a rate of 6.6 kilowatts, though the system is capable of even higher charging rates. Traditionally, one of the largest problems with inductive charging is that the distance between the charging pad and the receiving antenna must be very close, but Qualcomm has managed to transmit this energy at a gap of up to 250 millimeters. This is greater than the ground clearance of most cars and SUVs, meaning it could effectively charge the vast majority of electric vehicles. From a convenience standpoint, there's an obvious advantage to wireless charging, but the future implications also are a bit mind-blowing to think about. If, for example, you were to have a road with these wireless charging pads embedded underneath, you could effectively give the vehicle a limitless range and thus it would never have to stop to charge. Also, by wirelessly charging dynamically, the size of the battery can be significantly smaller because you can charge during your commute and only need the battery when dynamic charging isn't available. Since batteries are one of the most expensive components of electric vehicles, this could bring down the cost and the weight of the electric cars, making them both more affordable and more fun to drive. It can also help compensate for other electric vehicle disadvantages, such as heavy energy draining while towing, or reduced range as a result of cold external temperatures. Of course, the infrastructure would be incredibly expensive to implement, but it is a cool concept to contemplate. A big thanks to Formula E for bringing me out to the EPRI and letting me experience a ride along in the BMW i8 pace car. And be sure to check out the incredible engineering behind Formula E. Any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching. We'll be breaking down the science and strategy behind the battery, the motor, the transmission, the tires, the aerodynamics, the suspension, the brakes and regen, the cooling system, and of course the very unique aspect of the sport of having two cars per driver swapped mid-race.